guys, I'm Jay. And I'm Adam. And we're from the Movie Preview Review Podcast. On the internet, we basically watch trailers and give our review of the movie from only watching that. But it's one of those things where we decided we were going to start doing some first look videos. We do trailers for movies that are coming out soon, but there's so much content out there now, we figured we'd just start watching them as they pop up and just give our first reaction. Yeah, it's fun like that. It's a good time. I enjoy it. So we're going to be doing today uh, My Pet Dinosaur, which yes. just came out yesterday? I believe so. Yeah. We believe this is an Australian movie. Right? Yes. Sure. Okay. Australians can make movies. I love it. They have the technology. <laughs> we can rebuild them. <laughs> but yeah, I honestly don't know anything about this franchise. I don't know if it's... Is this something from the 90s? I'm not 100% sure. It, fe it sounds familiar to me, but I couldn't find anything about it. So this may be All a new right. property, but we've never heard of this movie. We've never seen the trailer before, so let's check it out. Yeah. Hit it. Our kids in this town, I've got a tough. There's only two options. Military or mischief. I've been that kid. What are you guys doing here? There are sightings. It's like Stranger Things. Kinda. I can't do this stuff. Sure you can. Hey! It's a lie. Stop it! It's a lie! Is that a full condom? I'm not sure. <laughs> we... The Gorgon! <laughs> the Gorgon! <laughs> Demi Gorgon! A little baby Demi Gorgon. <laughs> you have to swear not to talk. But you don't know what it is. It might be dangerous. <laughs> Look at him. This is the kind of stuff that like just warms your heart. I can't help it. I'm such a nope. sap. Oh, it's oh. getting bigger. What if humans grew that way? <laughs> just kind what of if just like one day before fourth grade, you're like, well, it's your birthday. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> you take care now, Doctor. Brightwood can be a funny place. How long do you think you can keep him hidden for? So it's a mutant lizard. It's a mutant lizard. It's not a dinosaur. So this could be the beginning of Cloverfield. Australian vision. Sounds great. Is that a, was that that a UFO? drone? I, oh, it was probably a drone. I thought it was a UFO for a second. I was like, really? Aliens? I was like, we already got it. <laughs> Dad! You guys aren't going anywhere near that base. We got a new one. Come, Magnus! Is it turning into E.T. all of a sudden? Kind of, yeah. I think that's what they're shooting for. Well, I'm not going to kill it. Not yet. We're going to breed it. Whoa, 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 what? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Okay. Interesting. That, that looks fun. That looks fun. It looks like... It looks like stuff we've seen before. Yes. I mean, that... It's a typical 80s kids film. Sure. But I don't... From what we've seen in the trailer, I'm not convinced that they're, like, totally pulling it off. I think it suffers from the fact that, like, Stranger Things kind of already nailed it. Kind of. Well, I mean, Stranger Things, obviously, is a whole different True. beast. Absolutely. But Absolutely. And I'm not trying to, like... It doesn't... You know. Like, is there, it's very E.T.-ish. Yeah. Kid mutates the lizard. Absolutely. Maybe finds a mutated lizard. And the lizard looks great. That's some good CG right there. It was. That was, uh... Hey, that like, was, uh, creepy enough, you know? Because E.T., man. Oh, he was so scary. So the was... scariest. Oh, oh, oh. No. I like, watched that movie as a five-year-old, and I, like, I... No. That, that movie broke my brain. Like, I couldn't... I was so afraid of that movie, I couldn't handle it. You were afraid of E.T.? Oh, yeah. Still kind of am. Really? Oh, yeah. He's he's spooky. The practical effects. I'm doing it for you. Yeah. I don't know. It's... The puppet... The fact that it's a puppet almost makes it scarier. Huh. Because it, like, truly does exist in this world. Do you know what I mean? Right. It may just be a puppet, but, like, there is a closet somewhere with a, with <laughs> e, a soulless E.T. body. I don't like it. There's probably a lot of soulless E.T. bodies uh, out there. <laughs> Did you ever do the E.T. ride at uh, Universal? N no, no. I don't like E.T. Oh, that ride <laughs> would was not fun. I would never go on that ride. I've heard it was cool, though. It was okay, but at the end of the at the beginning of the ride, you type your name in, and so like, Adam. And then at the end of the ride, it goes, Thank you, Adam. Uh, uh, it's like, ah. No. It's not. 
Yeah. It's both simultaneously like a little too low tech to be believable, but also kind of totally creepy at the same time. <laughs> yeah. I bet I bet you guys who worked on that ride made E.T. say all sorts of weird stuff. Oh, I mean, because that movie, that, I would that is an old, old ride. So we're talking like mid-90s voice modulation technology. <laughs> So like we're talking like the same level as like a speaking uh, speaking spell. <gasps> oh no! So, so it's like uh, uh, Teddy Ruxpin. Yeah. <laughs> I, for all of us that grew up in like the eighties and nineties, like we had some horrifying toys, and we had no idea that they were horrifying until like kind of now. Like Teddy Ruxpin, like everyone had one of those, and they were not a good thing for children. Oh no! Especially when you realize you can put any tape in there. Yeah. Yeah, and you just, like, talk it out. But anyways. Yeah, so my pet dinosaur. Sure. Huh. Yeah, I mean, I'm sure the Australian kids will love it. Yeah, I for a... Yes, this is a non-Hollywood film, and that's why I'm rooting for it. You know oh, what yeah. I mean? Like, because all, all my issues with it, I'm like, oh, I don't know. But it's like, you know, like, this was, this was not... It's not a Hollywood picture, so it's for what it is looks great yeah the effects look good there are explosions yeah uh there are heartfelt kids who have the power of love on their side (laughs) who try to teach a town that they can come together (sighs) around a mutant lizard yeah and like and learn and learn to love cross species love if you had to have a pet dinosaur which one would you want it's a really good question I always loved Triceratopses okay. when I was a kid. Well, okay. Uh, the question twofold is: okay. you can have a pet dinosaur that is like the actual size of the actual dinosaur, then you can have a pet dinosaur that would be like the size of a house cat. <laughs> okay. That is that dinosaur as well. Well, then a Triceratops. You know what I mean? Like probably the pet rule definitely kind of like so pet sized. Yes. Well, okay. So cats like to claw things with their claws. Okay. And they rip up furniture and stuff like that. So I would assume that having a Triceratops would puncture lots of furniture. Sure, but where do we? I mean, but they're also pretty docile. I would feel they're herbivores. So. True. I mean, but they, you know, I imagine they're kind of like chow chows. Like, they're kind of just like <laughs> pet my belly. Um. Yeah, I mm, Stegosaurus would be a little. You can't really pet it because you'd slice your hand over all the ridges in the back. That's true. An ankylosaur? Yeah, that's kind of where my head was at. Did I say that right? If I could get if of like big size, I'm gonna I get I want one of those ones with the like the the fan. No, not the fan, but like the just the one little like a uh, little snorkel. Oh, the back. Yeah, 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 like the duck type of, or whatever yeah. they're called. Sure. Well, one of those. If I could get the big one, then I could ride it and it'd be fun. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I feel like those guys are pretty chill. Uh, but if I wanted a small one, yeah, I mean, I, no, I, if I could have a small one that was pet size, it'd be a Protoceratops, which is like a Triceratops, but it doesn't have the horns, oh. and it'd be so sweet. It'd just be so sweet, and just be snuggling. Would a pet it's size... Like a pug. It's like a pug. It's, like a it's basically <laughs> a pug. <laughs> Would a pet-sized Diplodocus be fun? With its long-ass neck, it'd kind of be like... Right. Oh, absolutely! Yes, that would be mm-hmm. that. The that would be wrap around, little snake. Yes. Like, that would absolutely be a spectacular. He could have like a tiny little Brano. Like, hey, buddy, what's up? You'd call him Brano. Uh, no, you call him Littlefoot. Come on. Oh, that's true. <laughs> I mean, yeah, it's right foot. there. That'd be fun. Yeah, oh. and just tr- just get him leaves. See now, us- I, uh, now I want to pet that dinosaur. All right. Well, you did it, movie. Good job. <laughs> Good job, movie. <laughs> you, you made us sell ourselves up. <laughs> um, okay, guys, that movie comes out in Australia at some point. Yeah. And hopefully comes to America sometime after that. Yeah, I would assume. Uh, who knows what their schedules are like. I, I don't know what that... They might open here first. Maybe. I mean, that's been happening more and more. But we'll see. We'll see. I mean, it seems like a good movie. So, kids will love it. Yeah. Cool. Uh, tell us what you guys think in the comments. We'd appreciate that. What, what pet dinosaur would you like? That is yeah. a good conversation to start up. Also, if you enjoyed this, please like and subscribe. We'd really appreciate that. And we will be back with more trailers very soon. Yeah, like we may record one right after this one. It's quite possible. I might be wearing the same shirt. <laughs> we probably will be. Who knows? <laughs> you guys will figure it out. <laughs> okay. Bye, guys. Bye, guys. <laughs>